Dorset and Cuba, worlds apart, you may think, but an unusual collaboration between the two has resulted in some striking and thought-provoking art. A lawyer from Bridport working in the Guantanamo Bay Detention Centre wanted to bring back some of the pictures inmates had drawn. Well, that was forbidden, so instead he came back with stories which he told to students at the Sir John Colfox Academy. And from those tales of time inside, the unique art was reborn. Here's Steve Harris. There's a pit holding the prisoner. A single twisted rope runs down to an iron bar suspended over his head. Two arms burst out of the ground directly up towards the light. They are fists. The ground is cracked clay running far in all directions. The feeding chair looks rather like an electric chair with seven leather restraint straps, their buckles falling open. This is no ordinary art class. Pupils at the Sir John Colfox Academy in Bridport are recreating work originally done by prisoners at the Guantanamo Bay Detention Center. First of all, a lot of students found, I think, some of the descriptions quite challenging, so they chose to just produce work that was a general response to the theme of imprisonment and torture, and the fact that work can be um, communicating some kind of message or be an expression of how uh, people are feeling. A local attorney has been representing inmates at Guantanamo Bay. When he was refused permission to leave the prison camp with art the inmates had been working on, he brought descriptions of it back to the UK with him instead. And it's from those descriptions that these students have been recreating their work. It comes from the Spanish Inquisition, so it's a really archaic torture technique, and it kind of shows the reversion to its past and um, how we're, we're not moving forward, really. Well, I didn't know anything about it before, so it's really, like, opened my mind up to what actually happens around the world. It's quite a strong subject, obviously, and it's quite crazy to think that these things are actually happening. There are 41 inmates currently in Guantanamo Bay, a detention centre which began holding so-called enemy combatants shortly after the September 11th attacks in New York. Earlier this year, President Trump tweeted that there should be no further releases of these extremely dangerous people. It fits in with our, um, our beliefs that art is a very powerful way of communicating and it's something in the art department that we encourage students to do, to respond to um, topics which are often quite thought-provoking and challenging. We can't shield students, really, from what is out there. Last week, an exhibition of art by Guantanamo detainees opened in New York. Those pieces were governed by strict regulations. Here in Dorset, students are only restricted by their imaginations. Steve Harris, BBC Spotlight, in Bridport.